how's our weather looking this week? Well, the thing is, we're looking really good for a couple of days, then things get a little bit tricky because there's a large scale system up to our north. So let's dive right into that forecast. Starting off this morning, the skies are just starting to lighten up just a little bit as we head towards the start of our morning. Great conditions out there already. You can see just the top of the light of that tree that they're setting up out there at the top of Pismo Pier. Beautiful conditions out there to celebrate the season. 41 degrees right now. Easterly winds just about three miles an hour. Overall, things are looking good. Although it's chilly to start off the day, I'd recommend grabbing that extra layer as you head out the door. Only 30 degrees in both Lompoc and San Inez. Both those temperatures could cause some frost concerns early this morning, so just be aware of that. 34 in Paso Robles, 37 in San Luis Obispo, 39 in Santa Barbara, and 36 degrees right now in Santa Maria as you kick off the day. So grab that extra layer, but overall, today's going to be looking pretty good. Relatively calm waves have moved back into the region, at least for now, we will be seeing another round of a swell heading our way by early tomorrow, and that's going to be lasting all the way through Thursday as well, continuing to see significant areas of those waves moving right back into the region. And that's going to be in advance of another large scale system that will be bringing us rain and is already bringing significant rain into Northern California. I'll get to that in just a moment. But here's a look at your daily temperatures for today. 66 in Paso Robles, 63 for San Luis Obispo, 65 in both Santa Maria and Lompoc, and 64 degrees in Santa Barbara for today along our north coast, 58 in Morro Bay, 65 in San Miguel, 62 degrees in Avila Beach in the five cities, Napomo at 62, 65 in Shannon, 59 degrees in Arroyo Grande, and along our south coast, not too bad either, 64 degrees in Goleta, 70 in Solvang, and 69 degrees in the Cuyama Valley. But here is the main headline of your forecast. This storm system is going to be causing significant concern for Northern California. It's already raining up there as this large-scale atmospheric river makes its way through the region. Now it's just going to be staying put. This is a relatively large storm and it is going to be causing significant concern over the next couple of days for Northern California. Thankfully, we're just on the edge of the system, so we won't really be seeing anything and that's going to be pretty minimal. And that's going to be over the weekend, but for communities affected 15 to 20 inches of rain, this could be devastating for some communities. We're talking about significant flash flooding risk over the next couple of days. So stay very much aware of this system, especially if you're traveling north via family in the area. It is going to be very impactful. For us, though, it's not going to be really until this weekend when that storm starts to decay and fall a little bit farther to the south. Though we'll see a couple of rounds of rain. Those all added together are going to be more than a half an inch of rain for most of our communities. Most areas sitting around an inch of rain from that system. You can see rain chances Saturday, Sunday, Monday, even into Tuesday. Then we're going to be clearing out a little bit more into the later portion of the forecast. It's definitely going to be an active one. Be sure to stay weather aware. Shannon, back to you.